So before you rush out to the store and get all of those holiday gifts, we were talking about some earlier, right? You could also consider buying something different this year. We have Amanda Sherritt from Whitaker Myers Wealth Managers. I like to think of the yes. holidays, you know, it's different for everyone. Yes. Some people want to go splurge, others <clears throat> might not necessarily be able to or just don't like doing it either. So you have some, yes. some different ways, maybe less traditional ways that people can really still go celebrate yes. and enjoy the holidays together. Yeah, absolutely. Bring in the bank. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So it may save them money, and, and that really depends on how many people are on their list, right? Mm -hmm. But I think more so these ideas are more valuable, and maybe they'll enjoy spending their money this way a little bit more than Feel buying a traditional. a little bit better about it. Yes. Like yes. the one that I know is on your list with contributing to maybe savings accounts. Yes. So I said, you know, if you're a grandparent or an aunt or uncle and you have a lot of kids on your list that you're buying for and you're not sure what to get them, consider talking to their parents about contributing to a savings account for them. You know, you could do a 529 plan or an ESA. Those are accounts that are specifically designed to use for college expenses. Mm -hmm. But you could also do an investment UTMA, which is still invested, but then you can use it for anything just for the kids benefit at any time. It doesn't have to be specifically for college. So so that's why I say there's options, talk to their parents, start talking about that, but what a gift for the parents and the children when they start it's paying a, for those. It's a great gift. I know initially the kids might be like, man, I don't, right. I, well, I don't, this right. is not the great to open up, yeah. but someday they will say thank you for Thank doing you. that for me. Yes. And it's all worth it in the yes. end. Yes, much more than a toy probably, Exa exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We'll never exactly. use again. Right. Um, experience gifts, that's another one. Yes. Yeah. So instead of buying a physical gift, maybe consider planning a dinner and a movie or a membership to a local zoo or amusement park or something like that. You know, something that you can go and do an experience. I feel like that memory of that experience is going to be more valuable than maybe sometimes what a physical gift could be. My parents buy us a membership to the local zoo every year and we look forward to it because we enjoy it they get to go with us we get to do that multiple times throughout the year so it's really a great gift idea and that kind of partners up with another one you're talking about and it's just sharing time together yes spend time together so my siblings and I we started skipping buying gifts for each other because you get to be adults and you're not sure what to buy each other you start exchanging gift and cards it's stressful <laughs> yes. so it takes the stress out of it if you're, you're yes. not worried about really going exactly. to the store having to buy each individual person something yes so what we do is we my mom watches our kids my mom and dad watch our kids and we go out to a nice meal together it's something that we wouldn't typically do because we're busy and you know we have have busy lives but we look forward to that time together we call it siblings day and it's it's so much fun we do that instead of buying gifts for each other that is quality yes that's quality right there and there's no price yes. tag that you can put on something that's right like that. yes what about I also saw on your list here that you have just catering a dinner even. Yeah, so this wouldn't be a tip, like maybe some families bond in the kitchen over making dinner or cleaning up the, the kitchen. So this might not be for you if, if that's how you bond as a family, but sometimes it causes stress and you get a little stressed out because you're not able to spend quality time with your family because mm -hmm. you're spending all that time. So you could skip buying gifts or maybe don't buy as many gifts and everybody chip in to have dinner catered and then you have more time to spend with your family. I think that is a great idea. And I know, yeah. it, you're right, it's normally for the for the hosts. Yes. Those are the ones who normally miss out on everything because yeah. they're trying so much to please everyone. So They're running around cleaning up and, yeah, doing I everything. I think that that could be a really fun and great idea for the family. Yeah. What about house cleaning? Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> sign me up for that one. I thought about that and I thought, well, that could be like a risky gift, right? You want to make sure it's the right gift for the right person. You want to insult someone. Your house is a mess. Exactly. <laughs> But I was thinking about busy parents or you know new parents. Like, what a gift that could be. Maybe it's not it's something they would idea. save for on them on themselves. You know, pay for themselves. But it could be such a gift for them. And I know you said also just being, being generous. Yes. I'm guessing maybe that means. Is that donating to others, maybe those in need? Yeah, I, I think you could skip buying gifts or again, maybe you buy less gifts and as a family you decide on a charity to contribute mm -hmm. to. And that is, it's, being generous is so much fun, especially this time of year. And it's fun to do it as a family, but then also what that does is if there's people in your family that don't have as much room in their budget, they don't have to spend a certain amount buying a certain amount of gifts, they can decide how much they can give Could, to that how charity. How much they can contribute. Yeah. I think that's a wonderful thing too. And you don't, you're, again, you don't make people feel inadequate or unable to do something exactly. that you can do as well. Yes. Great. You said great tips. Thank you. Really appreciate Thanks. it. It's all something that we could think about, you know, as we get ready to buy all of those gifts or maybe less of or contribute in different ways for yes. the holiday season. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank you.